welcome to the Mike and Tim show. Hey guys, how are everybody doing? Uh, here's what's going on. Um, we are we have invited our psychic Bob into the studios this evening. Hey Tim. Hey, how are you, psychic Bob? What's the whole deal tonight is we want psychic Bob to give us the lowdown on the five, the top five worst possible uh, gifts for Mother's Day. Well, uh. You caught me on a good night because I'm feeling spooky sacky, Tim. That's really good, Bob. Uh, could you give us a, what's your take on this, on one of those five worst uh, possible gifts for Mother's Day? Well, I was thinking, how about, you know, uh, something to do cleaning with, like a vacuum or, a, a, I suppose, a broom, you know, or uh, unless it's one of them cinnamon brooms. You ever see one of them cinnamon brooms? No, I have not. What is that? Well, it's a broom made up from, uh, you know, Branches from the cinnamon tree, and it reeks of cinnamon. Reeks. You know that gum? You know that good gum? That red gum? That's the cinnamon gum? It's the big red. You know. Oh big yeah, red big red. Gum. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's the course. cinnamon. You know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Same thing, but they make a. What they do is they make one of them their. Um, what uh, they do? So they make one of them brooms, like an old fashioned. It looks like a witch's broom, you know. But it ain't evil, Tim, because it smells like cinnamon. Because that's you know that's got to be good. But you stick that in the bathroom. And you go in there, you know, to do your business. By the time you come out, you'll be, your mouth will be tasting like cinnamon. It certainly makes the bathroom smell better. Uh, what me, what, what, rank, what that. ranking is that on the uh, the worst five gifts? Well, it's oh, not one of the worst. That's one of the best ones. Oh, well, maybe. I mean, I, I guess I, I, I guess the broom or you know the vacuum. Maybe we should just go to number four. Yeah, let's go to number four. What's the number four in your account? Oh, you ain't you got no ideas yourself? No. Oh, it's all on me now? That is correct. Oh, all right. Because we're interviewing you about this. Oh. We figured you'd have a lot of ideas. Oh, you being sure. psychic, Bob. Oh, well, yeah, you know, sure. Being, you know, the intellectual that you are, uh, you know, and, and, and also, you know, you being such a worldly individual. Thank you. You know, traveled around many, many countries. You sure. would have all kinds of ideas about this. Sure. Me being just a simple uh, reporter kind of guy, you know, would not really know anything about Mother's Day at all. How about a skunk? That would be a really bad present for your mom. Yeah, I, you know, that would probably, yeah, that would probably stick the place up. I was up. just thinking, because flowers is a mass present. Right. So a skunk, you know. Yeah, I would, I would go with that. Although sort of cute looking sometimes. Right. It's actually very smelly. What if it... And would not be a good present for your mom. Yeah, you know, that I would... I mean, I would never give my mom a skunk. You know, no, you know I wouldn't. I mean? Yeah, that would be... I would do that either. Uh, what about... Uh, what about number three? Do you have any ideas for number three on the worst possible? Well, maybe you got an idea. Well, how about a vibrator? A, a what? Yeah, you know, one of their uh, sex toys. Oh, no. Now, my, my mom, don't, she don't like toys. She, she's into knitting. My mom is. She don't like toys. She's into knitting and, well, sitting down and watching TV while she, while she knits. But toy, no, no toys for my mom. I don't know. Right. Maybe somebody else's mom might like one of them there, them there toys. But, um... Uh, what else you got there, Tim? Well, we're down to number. Or you want me to do one now? Yeah, number two would be your your, your worst next worst possible one. What would be the worst possible next two? I, you know, I'm not sure if I could think of anything else. I told you I'd take a call. You want to take a phone call, Tim? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's take a phone call. I make a little. Uh, I make a little uh, Mother's Day prediction. Prediction. I don't usually make predictions anymore. You know, in the future. Why not? Well, you know, you know why, Tim. I already told you last time I was on. Well, you don't want me to rehash all that now, do you? Yeah, go ahead. Well, you, no, no, I ain't gonna. All right, all right. Are you there? And uh, what's Hi. your question for Psychic Bob on the most possible worst gift for Mother's Day? Uh, yeah, my mother lost her ring about six years ago. I was hoping you could help find it. Mm -hmm. Any, no, idea? I'm so, Any I'm, ideas, Bob? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Okay, well, thanks for calling, though. Well, well that's just the way me. it goes sometimes, you know. Good to help that car out. We're I, I'm, only, I'm only psychic, Tim. You know, it ain't like I'm a Superman. Uh, you know, it'd be nice okay. if we could take another call. Who Who is it? My who is it, Tim? I can't I'm understand them. What, what, you, I'm what is the uh, caller? I don't understand what's going on. I couldn't understand it myself. I guess we'll have to uh, go on. No, no, Tim. I, I ain't got time for no more callers. I got to call my mom up and wish her, you know, a happy Mother's Day. Psychic Bob, uh, what is the worst possible gift for Mother's Day? Give us a clue. Um, what about when you show up at your mom's house with both of your kids in tow, 
and you tell her that you and your new wife are leaving town for a while, and you're going to drop the kids off to, to play and, you know, spend, well, a couple weeks maybe. And then, um, and then you get going. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> that sounds good to me. That tops the list of the worst possible. That's a pretty bad present on Mother's Day. Actually, pretty bad present on any dad. Oh, if, if you're the mom, you know. Of course. Yeah. All right, Tim. See you later, Psychic Bob. Well, happy Mother's Day, Tim. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Bye.